It's been two years since the three military men's teams have been able to do battle on the cricket field and with the Navy pulling off their first win over the Army in 19 years the previous day, the whole championship would be decided on run rate unless the RAF could inflict a second defeat in two days on the Army. It was a good toss for Army captain Jonathan Boynton to win and put the airmen in because the RF made a disastrous start to their innings, losing both their openers, Ross Diver, Adam Sutcliffe, plus Tom Burzins and captain Tom Shorthouse with just eight runs on the board, three of the wickets falling to the Army's only paceman, Connor Hudson. And with Yuri Hills trapping Sam Beals for the fifth wicket on 23, the RAF were in big trouble. But Adam Fisher and Ash Watson came to the rescue, building up a sizeable partnership for the sixth wicket. 23 for five after 10 overs turned into 106 for five after 36 overs, a sixth wicket partnership of 101. With 10 overs left to their innings and the score on 126, Fisher fell, caught behind by Blackburn off Graham Wiseman for 58. Watson and the eighth man Sam Bloor then added what was a record eighth wicket partnership for the Air Force of 84. Bloor going for 29, but Watson, the last man, eventually fell LBW to Boynton, attempting a reverse sweep off the last ball, a magnificent 86. The RF finishing on 201 for nine. Given their terrible start, this was a decent total for the airmen, especially as the army knew they could only win the tournament on run rate if they reached 202 in 35.5 overs. Not surprisingly, they started like an express train. Opener Varambali starting the way he meant to go on, hammering Sam Bloor for 15 off the first over. When Fletcher fell for nine, Bali was joined at the crease by Tade Carmichael, and the pair bludgeoned their way to 91 for one, Bali reaching his 50 in the 12th over. But Ash Watson then removed Carmichael to break up the partnership. On 108 for two, after 15 overs, the army still looked on track. Wiseman joining Bali at the crease, the pair taking their total on 246 before Wiseman went for 15. Bali was still there and approaching a deserved century, but on 97, Watson again struck, bowling him round his legs. He ended the day with figures of 3 for 43 from his 10 overs. Boynton and Ollie Cross then got bogged down by some fine spin bowling from Oish Patel. Cross went for 5, Hills for 2, and then John for 1. Suddenly it became 189 for 8, and with overs and wickets running out, the army needed their skipper to see them home. In the 36th over, with just four balls to spare, Boynton got the army over the line to win by two wickets and claim the inter-services title, but it was mighty close. Yeah, it was tremendous to see, and without with losing yesterday, we had to come stronger today, and our, our guys have been phenomenal today, and I can't thank them enough for the efforts that they've put in. It's been brilliant, the game of cricket. Credit to, credit to Fish and credit to Ash. They, they stuck in, they batted really well, and uh, a couple of lads down the order as well. So to get to 200, we thought was very competitive, um, but obviously someone comes out and plays the way, or Bally comes out and plays the way he did. Fair play, you can't really, can't really knock him. Well, you say it was a competitive innings. I mean, you know, they only made it with uh, with four balls to spare at the yeah. end because they had obviously with the run rate as it was. They had, you know, you knew you earned his, uh, you know, go for what 35.5 yeah. overs, and so that actually gave you a really realistic target to, to bowl at. Yeah, yeah, it did. Um, it also kind of made their mind up, I think, in how they had to play. So uh, it's what it's one of the things that sometimes it, it helps if you've got less time to get the total and you know you can only play one way to get there. So. Yeah, like I said, fair play to them. Um, they batted pretty well and, and got themselves over the line. Obviously, with the bat, you went off like a express train, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. So we've got some, we've got some big hitters at top. We want to express the talent that they've got and, and just let them go play their cricket. So uh, Barley was absolutely phenomenal today. Tade Carmichael as well. He's been, he's, they're always really, really good to have around. Graham Wiseman didn't come off today, but phenomenal talent at cricketers. I felt sorry for Barley. Short of his century. Yeah, yeah, and it'd be nice. We were just saying bit on the sidelines. There. I don't, I don't think I last the last inter services hundred, fifty overs. I can't remember it. So yeah, it'd been lovely for him to get that. But that's the game of cricket, I'm afraid. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this.